Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Amanda, otherwise known as Everything Beauty 2856 on here and Instagram. If you've kept up with my last few videos, you know that I told you I had a couple new foundations to test out. And I figured why not start with our good friend Wet n Wild. Wet n Wild just released a new photo focus foundation, but the catch with this one is she's dewy. I'm so excited. The original one is kind of a matte finish and it Honestly, it wasn't my favorite thing, kind of smelled like paint thinner, just it wasn't for me and I was really bummed because it's such an affordable foundation, but when I saw that they were releasing this, I got so, so pumped. So I picked this up at my local CVS and I'm ready to review it for you all. If you can hear the rain in the background, please forgive me. It's raining here in Memphis. And also if you're wondering, Amanda, where the hell are you? So I'm at my boyfriend's place in Memphis just with everything going on right now, I decided to come to Memphis since all my classes are online. I'm assuming most of yours are too. And I don't know, I kind of just wanted to be here uh, at home. I know my sister, you know, my niece Ashley is very, very young. She is just over one years old. And I just did not, with traveling lately and going to San Francisco, I did not want to risk giving anything to her. Um that I may not be showing symptoms for. So I decided to come to Memphis and I'm gonna be here for a few weeks. So I'm super pumped about that. So you'll probably see me in very different film filming situations in this house because I don't know, some will be sit down videos, some will be trying out products, maybe a nighttime routine. So you're gonna see a lot of the place. Just remember, we'll get through everything. It's all gonna be okay. But for the time being, I'm gonna use the time to film a shit ton of videos so please make sure you stick around go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already as well as give this video a big thumbs up i would really really appreciate it i hope you enjoy this video and without further ado let's go ahead and review and test out the new wet n wild dewy foundation <laughs> Alright, so I wanted to kick off this review straight on the Wet n Wild website. So here you see just what the packaging looks like up close, that nice glass packaging. Here's the shade range. I wish they had more. It looks like they have 20 shades. Um, they could definitely extend this. It's $6.49. Beautiful price. The newest innovation to the cult favorite Photo Focus franchise, Dewey Foundation. A weightless, super nourishing foundation that delivers natural all-day wear. Silky and creamy, coverage is easily buildable from medium to full, and it easily transitions from day to night wear. Ideal for normal to dry skin types, this moisturizing formula blends seamlessly, blurs imperfections, and helps minimize the appearance of pores for a perfect, smooth, dewy finish. Available in 12 cruelty-free, gluten-free, telc-free, and vegan shades. There are the ingredients if you're interested. You can also look on the Wet n Wild website if you're interested in investigating a little bit more. So I gave you that information that was straight from the Wet n Wild website that kind of shows you the shades, the fact that it's vegan and cruelty free, and that it's less than seven dollars. Like if this is a banger, it's going to be a beautiful cheap foundation that we can all enjoy and we can all love. I know all of us love a bargain, especially me, so Let's hope that this works. I want to touch on the shade range just a little bit. I do, of course, think it can always be better. I personally, it the first couple rows look very, very similar. And then it's like three dark shades. And that's it. Um, I do think the 20 shades is realistic, especially for a drugstore brand and for keeping it at a cheaper price point. 20 shades is realistic. I do think we could stretch out and really cover more bases with the 20 shades. I think it's off to an okay start, but it needs to get better. So it's something I'd like to see in the future. It's the same glass packaging like the other foundation was. So nice, it's pretty weighty for being a cheap foundation. So I'm pretty stoked. My face is already primed. I used the Revlon Photo Ready Color Correcting Primer. I've been using this since my last video and I've been really, really loving this one. This video is about that, but if you need a good color correcting primer, Pick up this one from Revlon, it's really, really good. Let's set it ourselves, let's calm ourselves, let's take a sip of coffee. I'm ready to try on this foundation. All right, so we're just gonna twist that off. Give it the smell test. Okay, so it doesn't smell as bad as the first one. 
because like I said, no exaggeration, the first one smelled like paint thinner. It was pretty intense. So yeah, this isn't too bad. I don't really mind the scent. There is a scent though. So if you're really particular, if you're really sensitive to scents, you might want to stay clear of this one. But for now, I'm okay with it. Comes with the same applicator as the last one. I kind of like it. It's not quite a doe foot, but it'll help you spread the product on. They didn't have that great of a shade range in store, so I'm interested to see if this actually matches me. Everything else looked too dark or too light, so. Hmm. So it definitely looks like it matches my neck, which is a good sign. I always just get nervous because I am pretty red and I have acne prone skin that sometimes foundations that match my neck exactly don't cover up the redness on my skin. So usually I'll go a shade darker rather than a shade too light because otherwise I look very gray. So I don't know, this looks pretty good so far. Let's spread this on the face. So this was just like one, I guess, wand full, one applicator full, and it definitely put quite a bit of foundation on my face. I haven't put any on my forehead yet. I've told you before that I put very minimal foundation on my forehead just because like I have bangs. <laughs> You're not going to see it anyway, but I don't know. That's kind of just what I do. So why don't we go ahead and we try blending it out today. I'm going to use a beauty sponge. Probably use a brush if you want, but I just love working with a beauty sponge, especially for foundations. Let's start blending this out because I'm so intrigued. All right. So right off the bat, it's not definitely not full coverage. What does this one claim? says hydrates and smooths complexion for a luminous finish, buildable coverage for normal to dry skin. So it's definitely not full, but since it's saying buildable, I like that. I think when foundations say that they're buildable, it kind of covers their ass a little bit because it's like, if you claim that you're full coverage, people are going to expect full coverage on the first application. So by saying you're buildable, and if you are truly buildable, it really saves you in the end. I'm just blending this in. I do like the scent of this foundation. I almost want to say it's a little perfumey, but that doesn't bother me going under my eyes. This already is sitting better on my skin than the last foundation. I felt like that kind of clung to some of my dry patches because I am more on the dry side. So I do like that I'm not having that same issue this time. All right, so far the coverage is pretty cute. If you don't really have acne and you don't really struggle with that, I think you're gonna really, really like this. I'm definitely gonna try a second layer. One, because I wanna see if it's truly buildable, and two, because I want more coverage. I will say that I did put a second layer on my cheeks. You can still see this breakout, but it did, it did layer really, really well. I would say that the buildable claim is really nice. Huh. This definitely isn't my favorite foundation. I just tried the Revlon Glowy Foundation in my last video. So if you haven't watched that, I will link it down below. I really, really liked that one. And it's kind of interesting that I'm doing two glowy foundations back to back because, you know, they have some competition. And I do think I liked that one better. But this one layers pretty well, so I'm not gonna be too harsh. And some of you might like this better than that one. It just depends your preference. I will also be reviewing a, another foundation by Unicorn Glow. It's a new brand I discovered at CVS a couple weeks ago, and they also have a glowy foundation. So tis the season for luminosity, bitch. So the foundation is on. We have two layers. I'll let you judge and see what you think, but in general, it's pretty good. Again, already I can tell it's not my favorite foundation, but I could definitely see myself using it as long as it wears well throughout the day. I'm also very curious to see how it layers with other complexion products. So I will spare you, I'll do my eyes off camera, but first I wanna start by layering some face products on and seeing how it, if they play well together, if they mix. 
um, if it, the foundation gets a little blotchy, things like that. So why don't we start with concealer? Do a concealer cocktail. I'm gonna go with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow and I'll go with the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. These are two of my most used concealers. So I know that they're good. So whatever happens, I know it's not gonna be them. The reason I mix these two is because this uh, L'Oreal Pro Glow, this is the lightest shade and it's a little too dark for me. But I like the luminosity it gives, and then I mix it with this ColourPop concealer, which is like my actual highlight shade. You can see it's a little bit lighter, so they play really nicely together, and I feel like I get the finish that I really, really want. Because I love it, I'm also going to cream contour. I love cream contouring. I'm actually going to go with the Wet n Wild uh, Contour Stick in Call Me Maple. I love this one. This is a tried and true product. That's the thing, when I am doing like first impressions. I'm never going to try like a new primer with a new foundation and then everything else the same because like then you don't know who to blame. Whereas if you're trying on a new foundation, you you know how the other products perform so you can tell like who done it, you know? First I wanna blend in my concealer. All right, it seems like it's blending in decently well so far. I just did my chin, now I'm doing my nose. And I'm gonna blend in just that little bit of cream contour as well on my nose. So, so far I blended out my concealer. I think it blended in really nicely. I will say though, I have foundation like collecting on the sides of my nose and I absolutely hate when foundations and complexion products do that. I'll zoom you in so you can see. But do you see how it's like collecting right there? Like it's just a bunch of foundation. I don't really like that. That's definitely... <clears throat> now let's blend in my cream contour. All right, so my contour is blended in. Again, that blended in really beautiful. Also, I would hope so, you know, wet and wild and wet and wild. It's pretty alarming when products of the same brand won't work with each other. You're just like, then who are you meant to work with? Do you know what I mean? Like, but it blended in really nicely. I will say though, just how badly it's collecting like in the creases of my nose and my smile lines, which I have smile lines. I live a good life. I laugh a lot. I play the trombone. This is bound to happen. But this like, this is creasing almost immediately and I hate that. It just makes me look aged and we wanna look young forever, baby. So far I have mixed feelings about it. So let me just go ahead and set this with a powder. This is the Revlon Color Stay Powder. And let's just set under my eyes because I want to see how this mixes with a powder product. We already could tell that it mixed well with creams. And then I'm also going to go and press this into the rest of my skin. My powder's on. Ooh. I don't think I like it. Like, once I put the powder on, it just made my pores in this area look huge. And like I said, I know I like the powder. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know. Honestly, like, this is more dewy than the previous Wet n Wild foundation. But I have the same beef with it. Like, I don't know. Maybe this formula just isn't for me on camera, I feel like it looks pretty decent, but in person, I wouldn't even say that it's like, it just doesn't look good. I'm kind of bummed about it because I wanted this to be really nice. I'm not going to give up just yet. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to tour blush highlight, do some brows, do some eyes, do a lip. I'm going to finish the rest of my face is what you need to know. And then I'll come back on. We'll see how it melded together and I'll give you my final thoughts. But right now oh i just feel weird so i guess come back and we'll see all right everyone we're back and we're here to discuss the final verdict of this wet n wild dewy foundation everything else on my face and i don't know i think i'm gonna tell you to pass on this let's discuss my final thoughts on the wet n wild dewy foundation Here's the thing, I really wanted to love this and I really wanted this to work out because it's so cheap, it's vegan, it's cruelty free, it's wet and wild, it's a brand we know, we love, they have a lot of hits and some misses, 
For me, this is definitely a miss. I think I'll try it again, maybe in the future with a more luminous primer. Maybe that'll help a little bit, but I don't know. It just settled a little too much into like my smile lines. You can see this. Like all I did was finish my makeup and this is how bad it's settling in. Like you can see around my nose. Also, I just look so porous right here. And that was before I put highlighter on. Like, I don't know, I wanted this to be better than it was, but, you know, sometimes that's how it goes. So unfortunately, I can't recommend the Wet n Wild foundation to you. If you want to go ahead and try it out, or if you have and you love it, comment down below and let me know. Like, maybe I need to try a new primer, like I said, maybe I need to try a new powder, but I don't know. I just know that the powder and primers that I have right now, I really enjoy. So I don't know if it's that, but I don't know. You can't win them all, and I am pretty bummed out about it, but sometimes that's how it be. So I hope you loved this video. If you like the foundation reviews, never forget because I will be having a new one next week for the Unicorn Glow Foundation. It's brand new, and the packaging is super cute, and their whole brand is just adorable. So please stick around for that, and I hope you really love this one. If you haven't, go ahead and subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. Helps encourage your girl and let me know you like what you're seeing. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.